If this scene seems familiar, it is because it is. It is where John Constable painted his most famous painting, The Hayway. This is Constable Country, dead and vale, with the river Stour flowing through tranquil countryside, where one can find the spots where Constable sketched the scenes for his paintings. This is East Burkholt Church in the village where John Constable was born. And in the church we can see a copy of his painting that he did of the gallery and there's a memorial window to him and a memorial to his wife. They are both buried in Hampstead in London. This is the Old Hall, a fine um, house rebuilt in the 18th century, uh, later rather spoilt by the forbidding additions of the Benedictine convent. The collapse of the cloth trade has often been blamed for the lack of a complete tower to, to the handsome church. A local legend blames the devil who was supposed to have pulled it down and Cardinal Wolsey was believed to have promised money but fell from grace before the building could be completed. There is no... It seems probable, though, that lack of money was the real cause of the work remaining unfinished. The tower was begun in 1525, and though there were still wealthy men in Birkholt after the Reformation, they tended to leave money to the poor rather than to church building. By 1537, no more progress had been made, for in that year, the will of Robert Spear includes... I give to the building of the steeple of East Burkholt before said £31 to be paid in a year when the parish do build the said steeple. And in 1541, Thomas Grith, a wealthy clothier, left 100 marks for the same purpose. It can be seen the um, beautiful East Anglian flint work with grades of workmanship from the earliest irregular stones to the squared flints in regular courses, packed with flint chips called galleting. This is a rather extraordinary structure here. It's a unique bell cage housed to for the bells. And it was thought that it was probably a temporary measure until they had money to build the tower. And that never happened with the collapse of the cloth trade. So the bells have remained here and the way they are rung is apparently unique too because they're used by hand, you move them against the wooden um, bell, what they call it, a wooden uh, headstock and um, it would be quite something to hear that happening. It, it was actually built in 1531 and one of the bells is dated 1450. I've been here a very long time.
It's good to be here seeing where Constable painted a couple of hundred years ago, having the picture, his actual pictures to look at and then looking at it as it now, as it now is. We realise that he also used artistic licensory, li uh, but we can see, for example, that the Ford is no longer here that the Haywain went across because the river levels have got so much more. And one thing which is wonderful to see too is is the sky here. It's got the clouds are fantastic going across. The, the scene has changed over 200 years. It seems to have shrunk in on itself because there are more trees, the water level is higher, the bulrushes are more. So you don't get the feeling here, looking at Constable's picture of the expanse. But, but it's still pretty wonderful to be here. And I think this is where he was when he was painting it. He did his sketches to begin with and then he finished it off in London. I find it rather good to think that Constable painted his sketches in the summertime. And then because of the weather, he, he um, actually painted them to completion in the winter in his studio in London and apparently when he was doing the, the hay wane he, he couldn't quite remember all the details of the cart so he asked his brother to to do a picture of it for him to make sure he got it right. <laughs> I was looking over the gate here thinking this is Constable Country with the undulating undulating meadows and the and the oak trees and the clouds It's difficult to, to find the exact spot where Constable painted because trees have grown up, uh, vegetation has changed and, and he may have used artistic license a bit to, to alter the perspective and things. But anyway, we're doing the best we can. The River Stour is quiet now, only used by uh, people using it for pleasure, rowing up and down the river. But in Constable's time, it would have been very busy because it was the major source of transport for, for, the, for the mills, for the farmers, and um, for all sorts of things. And so the barges would be towed along by the horses 
which had to be trained to jump over barriers on the towpath and um, there would have been a lot of interest and busyness. We think this is the site of the painting, the leaping horse, and the horse is leaping because they had they had barriers, three foot high barriers across the towpaths to prevent the cattle getting on them, and so the horses had to be trained to leap over them because the farmers weren't always very willing to uh, have barriers open for them. So the horses had to be trained to leap three foot high to get over them. What a thought. Mm -hmm.